Can you describe the feeling of the win of going into a tournament with a goal and actually lifting the trophy at the end of the two weeks? I mean, for me, you're on top of the world. Up until I had children, because that was the highlight of my life, is still the highlight of my life, but up until I had children, the greatest feeling in the world was lifting the Wimbledon plate or Roland Garros or whatever, winning a Grand Slam, because it's like you're untouchable. You know, you're invincible. I felt like my game was pretty well suited for the grass courts at Wimbledon. So I felt like I had a good opportunity there and it didn't happen initially. But when it did, I remember I started to go down on my knees, but that's what Bjorn Borg did when he won. So then I almost got down on the ground and realized I better get up. But I did, I did feel like at that moment that if I had lifted off, I could fly. Everything just sort of lifted off my shoulders, all so the pressure I put on myself, the expectations, and then beating my friend and rival uh, was, I, I did feel like I was going to fly out of the stadium for a few minutes. It felt like I could, like, my life could have end right this second. <laughs> it was like the, the best moment. And I have all my, you know, my friends and you love ones are there, you know, you see them happy, crying, you know, what... You know, it's not, it's a feeling that the beauty of it is because you can share it. You know, that's the beauty of it. You can share it. You, you look around and you see your friends, your brothers, your sisters crying. They have, you know, my, my, my family usually, you know, everybody cries a lot for sadness. But I mean, to make them cry of happiness, that was pretty chic for me, I felt. 